This video covers a special feature of the SNMP Traps Trap Monitor Knowledge Script from the App Manager for SNMP Traps module. You can use the Trap Monitor Knowledge Script and the SNMP Traps Alarm Mappings CSV file to customize the App Manager event messages that correspond to SNMP Traps received by your source devices. To make these customizations to the event message text, you use a comma separated file or a CSV file. You can find this file on the App Manager agent computer. This CSV file contains a list of NetIQ specific mapping entries for the values found in various management information base files, also called MIB files, installed by the module. The mapping entries in the CSV file use one of the following formats. Severity mapping entries which map varbind ODE and varbind value to an app manager event severity, varbind mapping entries, which map varbind ODE and varbind value to a human readable string used by the app manager event, replacing the default values generated by the trap, and OBJ mapping entries, which map a trap ODE to an app manager event short message and an app manager event severity. Let's say that you have a new trap source device that you want to monitor. In this case, it's an LSI Mega RAID controller. That device currently does not have a corresponding entry in the CSV file. Also, the management information base or MIB file for that device is not a part of the supporting set of MIB files for this module. We need to add the MIB file for this device and then update the CSV file with a mapping entry about that MIB. First, we'll need to make a note of the location and the name of this new MIB file on the agent, which we'll use with the SNMP Traps Add MIB Knowledge Script. Back on the console computer, locate the SNMP Traps Add MIB Script. Run the Add MIB Script on your App Manager agent computer. On the Values tab, Navigate to the Full Path to MIB Files parameter and specify the location of the new MIB file. For the list of MIB files parameter, specify the name of the new LSI Mega RAID MIB file and then click OK to run the script to update the list of MIBs for this module. Now, if you look at your set of MIB files on the agent computer, you'll see that the MIB file for the LSI Mega RAID device is now included in your set of MIBs. After you've added the MIB file, you'll need to update the alarm mapping CSV file with the mapping for that new MIB file. So navigate to the bin SNMP Traps folder and open the alarm mappings CSV file. Then go back to the folder with the new MIB file and copy the relevant mapping information for that MIB. In this case, the OBJ mapping entry for that MIB is for a minor alert that is raised when an alarm is disabled by a user. This is the default event message text that will be used by the corresponding App Manager event. After copying the mapping entry, Paste the entry into the Alarm Mappings CSV file. You can now customize the App Manager event message text that will display for this alert. This is the new event message text that will be used by the corresponding App Manager event. The last step is to set the relevant parameters in the Trap Monitor Knowledge Script. Run the Trap Monitor script on your App Manager agent computer. Because the LSI Mega RAID device is new, select Yes for the Monitor Devices Not Yet Discovered parameter. And also select Yes for the Discover New Devices When Traps Received parameter. Scroll down to the Raise Minor Alarm Event parameter and select Yes for that parameter. And leave the default of 15 for the event severity parameter, which is a warning severity level. Click OK to start the job. The trap monitor job discovers the new device 
and adds it to the list of monitored devices. Also, App Manager now reports a new event, so go to the Master view and select Events. Expand the Warning Event category and double click the event for the new trap source. The event message text you see matches the text you edited in the Alarm Mapping CSV file. And this concludes the short demonstration of the event message customization feature of the Trap Monitor Knowledge Script. For more information, see the NetIQ App Manager documentation page, which is listed above. Thank you.